Morning guys. Oh, bit of a rush this morning I'm afraid. Let me get this camera sorted out. I've got a really short session this morning, quarter to nine. Quarter to ten. So about an hour and a half. Um, let's have a quick show you what's going on. I just had a really good bite on worm. Yes, we're fishing the river mole today. It's still flowing th through fairly fast. Oh, just had another tap, but there is a chance of a nice fish. So, here we go. This is the swim, basically. It's going through quite quick, but I'm fishing just on the inside here and I ain't getting bites yet. I'm definitely getting taps. It could, could well be chub. So the rod on the left, that is the, uh, the leisure rod with a big worm on it. And the one on the right, I'm just going to put a feeder out with some maggots and fish it just a little bit further out, I think. I've got a bit of a rope there. I could have fished another swim, but time is so much against me. So this is a challenge to try and get the first possibly nice chubb perch out of a wild river. So everything's a bit of a mess. <laughs> it's complete chaos this morning, but welcome to the River Mole. And let's see what we can catch. With those few with those few sharp bites I've just had, that's looking good. I'll get this camera sorted out. <laughs> it's I'm totally I've got the tackle organised, but I'm unorganised. Oh, still getting some, definitely getting some nice jabs on that rod. So that's, uh, that's encouraging. Um, yeah. I mean, the, most of the time they're probably going to be, they're just probably small chaplets or something like that. But, I'm confident in a nice big juicy worm. You never know. I have a feeling we're going to catch sunny. So, 10 minutes to 9, 10 minutes to 10, about an hour and a half is really short. But I had to make this video back on the river again. Still a little bit pacey, but when you think about it in the summer, this river dried up. There was no water here whatsoever, completely disappeared. I'm all right for worms, all right for bait. I've got a tin of hemp that I didn't bring, I forgot doesn't matter I'm not worried about it it's all right I'm not obsessed with hemp <laughs> right let's get this um, feeder rod set up shall we there is a possible the worm has come off or it's been bitten off because it's a barbless hook no it's still on there still getting little taps on it so that's good that's good so what can we do in an hour and a half? Well, let's see. Welcome to Clive's Course Fishing Channel. And if you're new here, guys, you want to subscribe, press the old thumbs up, you know. It does help my channel. Right. Yeah, definitely get little knocks. Oh. Guess what? We got one on. Guys, we haven't blanked. It's not a monster, but I don't care. It's a chub. It's a chub. Hook nicely straight in the mouth. Oh, that's wonderful. It's not a monster, but it's a chub. Look at that. A fresh river chub. Perfect condition. Yeah, on a worm. Where there's one of these, there's a lot more, so we might get something bigger. Beautiful. Right, let's put her back. Him, her, whatever. Ah. 
Ah, oh, that was great. Just as I was talking to you, the rod's going like this, and all of a sudden it's just gone whoop, bang, straight over. Lovely. Right, let's stick another worm on, see if we can get another one. But when you think about it, okay, the river is still, it's still up a little bit, but this is, having said that, it's going through pretty fast, but it's a great time to fish it. When the river's been up for a week or two, and then it starts finding down, when it gets towards its normal level, like this, and it's got a tinge of colour in it as well, it's perfect, and a worm. Flooded water, lots of rain, worms get washed into the river. What more natural bait can you get than a worm? Right, be right back. Still, I still haven't put the feeder rod out, even though it's ready. I'm getting tiny little taps on the on the worm. Um, I'm just thinking now whether I should just pay attention to one rod instead of putting the other one out. Not sure what to do. Just thinking of mixing up a little bit of dark ground bait and putting a bit of a liquid flavouring in it. And just let that trundle downstream and break up a bit. Because the thing with this fish, you could have a, a big chub turn up at any time. But at the same time, I'm only fishing really right inside this bank here. I don't really need to go right out. As I say, because it's got plenty of colour in the water, as long as you're reasonably quiet, they'll, uh, they'll come closer in. The flow's a bit slower here as well, on the inside. So the fish can move in and out of the current as they please. Yeah, okay, so let's have a quick think. Nine o'clock. <clears throat> well, we've had one out. What do you reckon, guys? It's funny, really. I've never fished worm that much on a river. And I know some of you are saying, well, hey, why not? Well, yeah, quite right. Why not? I know worm's a natural bait. It's a great bait. I have used worms before, of course. I've had some great bream in that. Nice perch. I didn't even have my coffee this morning. I had four shredded wheat. Quick slosh over and out. I wished I'd come here a bit earlier, but getting up early, you know, <laughs> I'm not great at it. 
I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna put <coughs> put some magnets in this feeder rod. Very simple setup, guys. Just a feeder, couple of shots. That's all. I'm not using link or anything. I'm going to fish right close inside. I've got a uh, size 16 barbless hook. Just put some worms on it. Put it in front of me. See what happens. I'm not going to make a noise or splash it upstream. We'll fish another part of the river later. Something I do want to do. I mean, it's very mild today. Again, it's it's not cold at all. I've got four worms on this hook now. It's going to load up the feeder with some worms. Um, but I want to fish this with bread. I really want to do some trotting. I haven't done any trotting for a long time. Oh, look at this. Lovely river roach. That's a welcome sight. Lovely fish. Prime condition. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, let's get another worm out. See what else we can get. Just hook nicely in the mouth. Beautiful fish. <laughs> right, guys. Basically, time for me to start packing up. And uh, at least we've had a couple of small fish out. We have a blank. But definitely going to start doing more fishing on the rivers. And uh, we are going to get some big chub and hopefully also get onto the canal. Uh, I said about doing a, a video with the whip, which I will do. So there's plenty to come and there will be some big fish to come. Sometime or another. I know what to do with the, uh, the feeding and the setups and that. It's just down to the fish. But that's fishing. See you next time from the River Mole. Bye-bye.